Hi, it's Barton Jennings here from Lung and Sleep. I've got a really interesting case to show you. This is a patient who inhaled a foreign body. He didn't report remembering actually inhaling the foreign body. He presented to his doctor with what sounded like a chest infection. There was cough, sputum production and fever. However, the chest x-ray told the story. So let's have a look at the chest x-ray and I'll show you how we were able to get it out and what it turned out to be. Let's have a look. This is the chest x-ray. And so here you can see the frontal x-ray. Here's the heart in the middle. The diaphragms are sitting here and the lungs take up the space here. And just at the bottom of the right lung here, you can see this linear shape here, which is probably sitting in the right lower lobe. It's radio-opaque, suggesting that it could be metal, and it's quite straight, so maybe this is some sort of pin or something like that. The other thing we notice is that in this area of the lung here, there's an increase in whiteness that is different compared to the left lower lobe, which is normal. This suggests that maybe this is the pneumonia that the patient has presented with. If we just zoom it in a little bit there, we can get a really good view of this very linear metallic object. This is the lateral view of the x-ray and once again you can see the linear object foreign body sitting there. And once again we'll just zoom in on this and what you can see here very nicely is this wedge-like opacity posteriorly in the lung. And this certainly looks like consolidation or collapse of the lung and the suspicion is that this foreign body here is actually blocking off this part of the airway and that's what's caused the patient to present with a chest infection and this part of the lung has collapsed. So what we need to do here is to do bronchoscopy and I elected to do a rigid bronchoscopy to be able to instrument within the airway and try and find the foreign body to be able to remove it. Here's the bronchoscopic image. And we're just looking into the bronchus intermedius. The right middle lobe is here. The right lower lobe is here with the apical segment here. We'll have a look in and I'll just pause the video there because here you can see in the basal segments of the lower lobe this abnormality here. Now this is all granulation tissue. I can't see the foreign body but I suspect the foreign body's been there for quite some time and it's caused this granulation tissue and it's the granulation tissue that's actually caused obstruction of some of the basal segments of the right lower lobe and that's what we could see on the chest x-ray which has caused the infection. So the first step is to remove the granulation tissue and to do that I'm going to use the cryoprobe and resect it away. So here's the cryoprobe which freezes that tissue and I can just pull it away and there you go and remove it. Just got a bit stuck on the side of the airway there. We'll just have a look in there again and there's a little bit of blood there but we'll just continue to use the cryoprobe to remove that granulation tissue and then we can remove it through the rigid bronchoscope. So this was done a few times using the cryoprobe to remove the granulation tissue. And once we were able to remove the granulation tissue, we could see the pin actually sitting below there. And it took quite a bit of time, but with some big forceps, we were finally able to remove it from the airway. And there it is once we got it out of the lung, a pin from a pin board must have been inhaled at some stage. I've put it here next to a syringe just to show you the size and they're the forceps that we used to remove it. This is one month later, the chest x-ray was repeated showing that no longer is the foreign body there and you can see the bottom of the right lung has completely cleared now. So that collapsed lung and infection has resolved.